how's it going everybody welcome back to the channel got this in the mail today and a little clarification about yesterday's video stay tuned Again, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So glad each and every one of you can make it. My hair is messed up. I need a haircut. Mm. Mother Nature's taking care of some of that, though. That in old age. But anyhow, welcome back to the channel. So glad all of you can make it. I, I was out here just sitting, enjoying, and thinking, you know, the weather, thinking about things and stuff. And while I was sitting here waiting, or thinking, the mailman pulled up. So I seen this go in there, and I... I've been seeing these pop up on YouTube. A couple other people have received them, so I kind of know what's in it. And then I kind of don't. Because this is from RD Custom Diecast. Okay, well, I'll explain all that in a minute. So Rodney, please give me the doses to finish this real quick. There seems to be a little <clears throat> misunderstanding about my video yesterday. And what I mean by that is some people seem to think that it's about the car. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look at the video. I'll run through it again real quick here, but go back and look at the video. Um, Friends and Hot Wheels is there such a thing, if you want to know all the details. But here's where the problem is. I, hey doodles, I backed up a couple times and that seems to have confused people. I, here's what happened, really quick. I walked in Hot, um, I walked in Hot Wheels, I like to walk in Hot Wheels. I walked into Walmart, they dumped a lot of fresh, hey doodles, yeah, you want to come up and say hey to everybody, come on, here's doodles everybody, this is the cat that everybody left, that the neighbors left when they moved from next door, hey, you want to see yourself, I <laughs> guess not, but anyhow, we took care of her, had her fixed and everything so she wouldn't keep having babies and, and all that good stuff, and yeah, she's taking care of the yard, keeping squirrels and stuff away and stuff away from the chickens so that's a plus but anyhow i walked in walmart they dumped a bunch of fresh cases well they didn't really dump them they stacked them neatly so i go through them go around to one of the end caps there's a bunch of them stacked there i mean shells of them next time i go there i'll take a picture and i'll show you i'll even anyhow without causing further confusion i go through everything i am now on the next to last shelf I hear a voice say hey to me so I turn around it's the guy that I met before okay no big deal hey how you doing he said do you remember me yada 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 we talked for a second and everything so you know we're looking at the Hot Wheels fresh dumps we haven't seen any in so long so you know everybody's excited so he's he asked me if I'd went through the ones up above me I said yes yeah, sure go ahead go through them you know so He's telling me that he was looking for a certain one, and you know, yada yada. And I have some on the ground, I have some up on the top shelf. So he said, if you see, dude, if you see, an I'm looking for one of those. If you see another one of those, can you let me know? I'd like to get it, if you don't mind. I said, no, you can have this one. I'm not interested in it. You know, I'm just going through picking out stuff that I think I might want, and then I'll go back to what after because, you know, whenever you find a fresh dump, people are going to be coming in. They're going to be seeing them because people are looking for these things high and low. So I'll grab what I, I go through real quick, pick out what I think I like. And then a lot of times I'll take them around the corner down another aisle and go through them. And then I'll bring, like if there's 10, I might take three or four and I'll put the rest back, you know. But I just want to grab them, get them over there, look through them, pick out the ones that are in the best shape that I want. So, <clears throat> I was fine. We do that a couple of times, you know. Oh, dude, I like that one. If you find another one, here you go. You know, because like I said, he's looking at the top shelf. I'm now on the very bottom shelf. This shelf is stacked probably eight to ten deep, about twelve rows wide. So I'm going left to right. I'll pick up a, I'll pick up a row of cars like this, right? 
I'll pick them up and I'll sit there and I'll look through them real quick. If there's something I want, I'll pull it out, put it in my stack. If not, I'll set it down on the, on the floor so I can restack it back in the box or on the shelf. So I pick, you know, everything's fine. We're conversing. I'm, I've done handing probably, I don't know, anywhere from five to six cars by now that he said he wanted, that he liked. Here you go, buddy. You know, no worries. I'm not into that. I don't have them, but here you go. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, one of the hot items this year was the um, the uh, the Skyline with the Hot Wheels livery on it, the dark blue one that just came out. Uh, the Zamax came out because he's like, oh, are these you know, look at these up here. That's, that's, those are happen to be mine, but there's more right there. There's four or five sets in there. So we're going through them. Everybody's cool. He's leaving the bottom shelf alone because he knows I'm looking through it. He's leaving his stuff down here alone because he knows that's mine. I picked it out. So I reached down. I grabbed the last. I'm about halfway through the stack by now. I reached down. I grabbed that last row. I pick it up. I go like this. Set it down because I've already got a couple in that stack. As soon as I turn to go like this, dude, and I turn around and he reaches down real quick, picks up the car and just like he didn't put it in my face like that but he's like he picked it up and held it I wish I could show you but he kind of held it like this like this showing me like look dude look and I know when that I don't remember exactly what I said because it was but I was like dude then he's like oh I did, I'm not trying to do this I'm not trying to I don't remember what he said but I do remember I'm not trying you know, I remember him saying that I'm not trying to do this, but I don't remember what this or that was. And this is where the confusion seems to be coming in. And I get these messages on Instagram and Facebook. No problem. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I got no problems with that. But they seem to be confused because they seem to think it's about the Super. Because they say it was the Super C8 Corvette that he found. Okay. It is not about the Super. I repeat, it is not about the Super. I like the car. Is it one on my list of cars that I would really love to find? No. Is it on one of them? Is it on the list of cars I'd really like to own? No. So if I would have found it and he would have said, you know, I really like that car, dude. Oh man, I wish I could have it. Yada yada. I would have given it to him. Because I've done that four times already. Four times. First time I ever do it, I did it. I was at the Dollar General. I'm not going to tell where, but I was at the Dollar General. I then went to the cars. Wife and I was on the other side. I was getting some pens for paint projects and stuff. And I seen this woman and kid walk by. And they're over there. And the kid. I heard the kid look at the woman and, oh, mom. You know, I, I hope I can find this car. It's a, a super treasure hunt. She's like, what's a super treasure hunt? Yada, yada. But I'll never be able to find one. Yada. So, wife and I looked at each other. And I've told this story many times. Wife and I looked at each other. We walked back around that way. I took the car and handed the kid, handed the car to the kid. And it was the SRT Demon. I've done it with the SRT Demon. I've done it with the Roger Dodger super treasure hunt. I did it with the MX-5. I think it was the MX-5 that white Mazda I've done it with those so I walked back around gave the kid the car and said you just found one buddy enjoy and didn't say another word didn't look back uh, but I could hear him behind me oh wow 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 mama mama you know anyhow long story short it is not about the car I would have given it to him more than likely because like I said it's not on the list now if it would have been this year's Camaro I'm sorry that's going home with me. I'm just going to be I'm going to be totally honest with you this Camaro I'm taking it home so he did that to me you know whenever you find whenever you're in a group of people and somebody finds a Camaro everybody let's be totally honest everybody would be like wow I wish that was me you know we do we'd love to have it it's one of those things that's very hard to find and and, and whatnot but it's not about the car for me because I have super treasure hunts in there that wonderful, wonderful channel followers and subscribers and YouTube friends have sent me. I do. 
And that's what makes this community so great. For every one person like that, there's a hundred in this community that will go out of their absolute way to see that you get the car you want. They do. I even sat there after, I, I don't know, I was, you know, I was kind of in shock to be honest. By the way, he didn't see me, I'm getting kind of, uh, anyhow. He, I sat there and I was finding more cars I knew he liked, so I kept giving him cars. And the longer I sat there, the more angry I got. Not because of the car again. Please, it's not about the car. It's about the way he did. Because he's, he's, he met me at another store one time. First time, you know, we talked off, talked together, hit it off, you know, I thought. Super friendly to each other and everything. So, you know, I consider him a friend. I, I consider everybody a friend. Until you do that one thing that crosses the line. Same way with my inner circle of friends. It is very few and it's very small and it's very tight. Once you do that one, one thing, uh, life's too short. i got no time for it, you know. So, this was that one thing for him. Like I said, I, I consider everybody my friend until you do one thing and this is, he, he did one thing and then. Never again will I help find cars for him. Never again. So I just wanted to clarify that. I wanted to clear it up. And like I said, everybody's entitled to their opinion. This is the last video I'll make about it. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's not about the car, guys. It really isn't. It's about how you treat somebody. Uh, like I said, for every one person that's a bad apple out there, there's a hundred more in this community that make it. Make it better is not the right terminology I want to use. But for every one person out there, there's a hundred people to negate that. There's a hundred people out there that says, eh, that's just a bad apple. Don't worry about it. Don't let it get, get you down. If you don't believe me, go back and look at my uh, the video about it. All the positive comments down below. And this box is another case in point. This is another one of those people out of the hundred that are willing to make this world a better place. I've seen videos of boxes like this popping up, like I said, from RD Custom Diecast. So, I kind of know what to expect. And then, in, you know, in each box is a little something different, so you kind of don't know what to expect. So with that stated, let's get to some boxing from RD Custom Diecast going, shall we? You know, routine, what's in the box? I saw you with the box, what's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? What's in the Let's get this big boy cracked open. I've been yapping long enough. I've been aggravated long enough. This is another day. Another day to make it a better place. Because let's face it, like another great YouTuber out there says, friendliness is free. Does it cost a dime? Does it cost a hair? Does it cost a bald spot? Does it cost the pants off of you that you're wearing or the shirt off your back? Does it cost a thing? Ah, so we got some official letterhead. All right. Let's check this out. Official letterhead. Now, what's going on with this? Rodney reached out to me and said that he was interested in starting a new diecast community, a, another build community. And, you know, everything's been done before. They're out there. Just to name a few, the Three Blind Minds, the Four Horsemen, you know, the Diecast International Builders. You know, just to name a few. Well, he wanted to start a new one and asked if I wanted to be a member. You know, it's so cool to be a founding member of anything because there's only one first. So, this is what everybody voted to make the name of the community or build group, Diecast Misfits. Established roughly in 2022. <laughs> so let's see. Hello, Pete. Brother, I wanted to send you a couple things my wife thought would be cool for the group. She lasered, lasered a cutting board with the Build Group logo. You can use it as a cutting board or a sign. We also made a tumbler with the logo. These guys are very creative. If you don't know who RD Custom Diecast is, the link will be below. All you got to do is click on it, it'll take you there. Uh, 
it's just our way of saying thank you for being part of the group. Check your cup. There are diecast misfit decals courtesy of Jeff at WW Replicas. Make sure to give them a give him a shout out. Feel free to use one on your bills somewhere if possible. Also, I added a few things in the tumbler too. I'm about to start working on custom cards. I have not forgotten but wanted to get this shipped since Jeff needed decals distributed. Thank you, sir. Have a great week. Rodney Davis, RD Customs, Chief Builder and Peon. No, I, I got dibs on the Peon. I'm older than you, brother. <laughs> I got dibs on that. <laughs> But I, I seen everybody getting the tumblers and the, the cutting boards and I was like, wow, those are so cool. And then um, in one of the comments on one of my videos, I think it was one of my videos, I can't remember right now. But anyhow, he said I had a box coming. So I kind of assumed what it was. So, but like I said, you got that one bad apple and there's a hundred people just like this that makes it better. Because he didn't have to do this, him or his wife, to even suggest it, you know. I'm taking everything nice and slowly so I don't lose anything. Sorry for the vibrating. I will actually use this as a sign when I do a diecast misfits reveal. Look at that. Is that not super cool? <laughs> I mean, where else are you going to get one of these, you know? Where else are you going to get one? You actually need to put these up on your your uh, website for sale or on the facebook page because diecast misfits have a a facebook page too if i can remember i'll put the link in the description of the video wind's trying to blow everything away i'm sorry set this down so it doesn't blow off and go through the yard yeah got to miss a uh, facebook page need to put that on there and uh price for them for sale ronnie I'm tickled to get that. Wow, I was hoping, but you just never know. Okay, set the box right there. Ah, oh, this is so, so cool. This is so cool. Dang it, you got a Camaro on there, but it's covered up. <laughs> Got the Ford Mustang up front. Ah, nah, I'm just kidding. This is beautiful work, buddy. This is beautiful. Need to put these up for sale too. Just saying, stickers, uh, keychains, ink pens, whatever. Diecast misfits, just like the letterhead. Right, estimated 2022. And he's got a. There's that dang Mustang I was telling you about. <laughs> a lot of vintage type signs on there. A lot of vintage types of and you know I can see a Camaro from a mile away. Beautiful Mercedes. Ah, that is so sweet, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get this bad boy open. And I mean, he's not asking for anything in return, guys, for these that he's sending out for people. These cost him money. Case in point. This doesn't have the price it costs, but one pound nine ounces from Alabama. That's a good 14 bucks. That's a good 14 bucks. Let's see what else we got down in here. All right. Oh, dude, you can't, you don't, you, do, you have no idea. I love that tumbler. Now these are the decals he was talking about, water slide decals that we could put on our builds. You know, some of us put them on the bottoms of our cars and stuff. Jeff has already sent me a package. Jeff being um, WW Replicas. He has, he does custom decals and everything. He's not really in the decal business, but he does a lot of decals, especially for YouTubers and everything. He sent me a sheet. He's the one that is helping me get my wife's car done. I actually need to be working on it now. And I'm trying not to make this video too long, but it's going to be a long one, I know. Because he's the only one that would make the decals for me. And so he sent me some channel decals too. But anyhow, here's the diecast misfit ones that we can use on our builds.
look at the detail in those because you'll see some that has lines across from them and everything from the printers these are great they're on blue paper so that means it has white toner everything you see white on there is ink and white toner is very very pricey so i'll put his info too down below in the description box so all you got to do is click on it take it take you to it i don't i'm pretty certain he doesn't have a youtube channel but i know he's got a facebook page so uh, if you have facebook go check him out by all means oh rodney these are so cool so cool in here and i'm not going to take them out because i don't want to spill them and they go through the deck and have to try to go through the leaves to find them but he sent some steering wheels he sent some of those cool alcohol burning type intakes to go on top of some engines and a couple of nitrous bottles that he three he 3d prints all this stuff himself if i was to try to buy that off of ebay or some 3d printer you're looking at about 15 bucks worth of stuff right there if not more 15 for the for the stuff and then shipping too and in this i will open because i have been needing some of these so bad so very bad excellent work excellent work look at that i think this coming yeah that's coming through try to keep my biscuit grabber out of the way there's that one there's a bigger version of it got the radiator and everything in there and then two more of the smaller ones heck yeah man well, wow. you didn't have to do that, Rodney. But I do appreciate it. <laughs> These will definitely get used. Definitely. I have a truck in there right now that I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it because it's, it's an M2 casting and it needs a. I don't. You know, you know how an M2 casting is. I don't like the engine in it. And the bed is long gone. It's a Coke truck, to be honest with you, and it needs an engine. I got a feeling one of these will definitely find its way in it. Definitely. Thank you, brother. I greatly appreciate that. I greatly appreciate it. I'm sorry I put it in with the the other crap, but I wanted to show <clears throat> and highlight the fact that yes, that was a bad situation. Yes, it has a bad outcome. Because this guy now I could see him at a store somewhere and he could he could come up and try to talk to me and everything i just nod at him and say hey how you doing and walk off you know whereas before i was helping him find cars if he had needed something and said hey if you here's my number if you run across it give me a call sure no problem i wanted to highlight that although that was a bad situation there's so many more great people like you and your wife out there that make you just totally forget about them. Just make you, they're wiped out. They're gone. So thank you. Thank you very much. That's why I put both of these together. I wasn't even going to do a video until I saw this. And then when I seen the box from you and it had your name on, I was like, I need to respond to the people that think it's about a car. It's not. And to show... There's truly some great people out there. There really is. Thank you, Rodney. And Mrs. Davis, thank you so very much. It's funny that we almost had the same last names, isn't it? Davis Davidson. <laughs> very, very close. Until next time, everybody. Please go check out WW Replicas on Facebook and check out Rodney down below. Very talented guy. He does 3D printing. He does all kind of stuff. He's got an eBay page. If I can remember, I'll put that up. Yeah, it ain't as sharp as it used to be <laughs> and does excellent video content shows you painting shows you how to wheel swap just the whole nine yards does wonderful work so please go check him out if you don't know who he is but he's he's quickly becoming one of the top names out there 
Until next time, thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.